cheese bowl, baby. Look at that. I like it. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Cold. Wow. It is. It is a cold day here in Las Vegas. Yeah, it's at 38, 39. They are showing like, like snow flurries, which would be kind of awesome. Did you say you McFlurries? Anyways, we're at Good Pie. Yes, we are going to have the ultimate pizza showdown here. We are. In downtown Arts District. So, same area, uh -huh. right? Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, so we're going to hit up three places. We're going to yeah. start here yes. at Good Pie. Good Pie. And uh, yeah, let's go inside before we freeze. Yes. New York style pepperoni undercarriage looks well cooked. Yeah, that's pretty we good. like it. Yeah. Nice little flop. Look at that little front. Nice little flop. Yes. Good pie right here. Mm. We got a good little cheese stretch right there. And I like these little, like these real little roni cups, right? That mm -hmm. they use. That is a good pie. That name really matches this pizza. The pepperoni is a little bit on the on the peppery side. That tomato, it, that tomato sauce is really nice and tangy. The cheese is delicious and salty. I'm just gonna take a bite of the crust. It's light, it's, it's crunchy, and it's flavorful. And you can taste a little bit of hint of salt in that crust. This is an excellent pizza. I can't wait. I love cheese. I can't wait to try the cheese slice. So here's the deal. At all three pizza places, we're, we're going to get them all by the slice. So they all have them pre-made and then they put it back in the oven to crisp everything up and heat it up. So it is delicious looking. Here we go. Excellent saltiness on this pepperoni and cheese. Very flavorful. It's got a little bit of that drip from the pepperoni oil. Wow. I love how thin it is. Let me try some of the crust. I have to say, this is one of the best outer crusts I've had on a pizza. Very light, very airy, and it's not dense like a lot of crust can be. This is a good pie. Here, a good pie. See what I did there? Terrible, no good. Excellent pie, though. Cheese, wow. Mm hmm. That's tomato that's right on top, right before they put on the cheese. Very light, but you can still taste that tanginess. Perfectly salt in that cheese. That crust again is on point. Oh, yeah. This is going to be hard to see if anybody can really top this one. This is delicious. One thing to mention is it is a good size of a slice of pizza here. Same size as that pepperoni. It's big. I usually don't get like plain cheese, but I'm happy with this one. I really am. I'm missing the little tanginess of the pepperonis, but if you're a cheese lover, <laughs> you're gonna love it. That wraps it up here from Good Pie. Oh my gosh, it was delicious. There's, it's snowing. Yeah, a little snow flurries right now. Oh, how cool, and I'm wearing shorts. Not me. Yeah. <laughs> but it'll be okay. Yes. I am fine. Well, you are fine, babe. Thank we you. are now going to head to I Pizza think Evil Rock. Pie or Pizza Rock. Yeah, one of those two. Yeah, we're staying in downtown, so we'll walk to either one. Right. I'm just watching the snow. It's kind of cool. It so, is cool. It's the first time I've seen snow flurries here. Yeah. And uh, forget about that. These guys want to see pizza. Let's go right? eat some pizza. We just got to spot number two. Yes. 
It's downtown's favorite. Yes, Evil Pie. Evil Pie. Mm -hmm. There it is right there. We're going to go in before we freeze to death. Let's go. Let's go. What's cool about Evil Pie is it plays homage to Evil Knievel. I remember watching him when I was like a kid, like jumping over buses and stuff. But yeah, very cool with you. A lot of memorabilia. We got our two slices, plain cheese and regular pepperoni. They also have an extreme pepperoni, which I think they put more spicy pepperonis maybe. But we went for the regular because that's what we're going to compare. Little Roni cups again. This is hot too. Look at that. How's my undercarriage look, babe? Beautiful. Oh, really? Oh, thank you, babe. Of course, we got the... The pepperoni oil coming through. The cheese is nice and hot and melty. Pepperoni slice from Evil Pie. Oh, good cheese pull, baby. Look at that. I like it. <laughs> Anytime you're going to choose bowl, you got to love it. Great saltiness flavor again on this pepperoni and cheese. I noticed this pepperoni is not as spicy as good pie. So it's really what you're looking for. You like a spicier pepperoni or a slightly milder one. Let's try the outer crust. You can tell, nice and airy. Not too much flavor though. It's just the regular airy crust. Look at that cheese. That looks just glorious. Let's go ahead take this bite and this is amazing this crust right here it's very thin the tomato sauce that is stuck on top of this pizza it is the perfect tangy tanginess and the cheese just brings it all home here we go cheese pizza I, I feel like Kevin McAllister in Home Alone a cheese pizza just for me classic Classic slice of cheese. Very thin crust, as you can see. For a cheese pizza, this one hits it all the bar part. I'm sure Evo Knievel, he would approve of it for sure. See that glisten right there in that pepperoni. Let's go ahead and take a bite. Good classic pepperoni. I know sometimes for lunch, I take a little bit of pepperoni and cheese to work. Exactly the pepperoni that taste of that pepperoni is on this pizza. Try and try this crust. Mm -hmm. Crunchy. Oh yeah. This is a pretty good pizza. Another successful pizza from yes. Evil Pie. Yes. We have one more to go. Then we gotta make a decision. We do. Mm. Not gonna we'll be see. easy guys, not gonna be easy. We made it to our third and final pizza place. Yes, I'm ready. Pizza Rock. You know it. Yeah, now you know we did a showdown of some pizza places in downtown mm -hmm. about three or four years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, Pizza Pizza Rock won. It did. Yeah, it did. so you know, we're, we're curious to see if they could still hold on to that title. Are they gonna lose it? We shall see. Let's go. They got some interesting looking flavors here, right? Yeah. Sweet grandma. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Grandma of the day has big pieces of cheese on this. Oh, yeah. Here we are at Pizza Rock. Slice of pepperoni. Look at that monster. I think this is the biggest slice of the three in size. Lots of small roni cups in it came right out of the oven. Of course, you know, they all the, all the pies are made, so they slice them up and reheat it in the oven to get everything crisp up, just like the other ones. So this is as fair as it could be. Look at the size of the slice. Bigger than your head. It is. A lot more pepperonis. Look at that pepperoni. Oil and juice just pooling up in the little cups. Take a look at the undercarriage. What do you think? How's it look, babe? Look, very well done. Look, looks good, huh? 
Well, let's just jump right into this pepperoni pizza, pizza rock. Great pepperoni flavor. I love the thinness of it. Let's try outer crust. Nice and airy. Love the crispiness of that crust. Doesn't have like any additional flavors outside of just the pizza crust itself. Pepperonis though, that's a star. I love the ones that are a little bit burnt, like this outer cup one near my thumb. You can see how it kind of uh, burnt a little bit. That is the crispiness I like on the pepperoni. Cheese pizza, just as big as the pepperoni slice. Again, really good cook on that bottom. Major floppage. What I'm really digging about this pizza, other than the cheese is really good. Again, very nicely thin of the crust. I like that. It has that little char flavor. Well, we saw it on tap. In fact, yeah. you know, you could get the pizza at the slice shop. Yes. And then take it to the bar and eat it here. Mm -hmm. and, and they had some purple haze on tap. Purple haze from Abita. Cheers, man. Cheers. You have no idea how cold and delicious that is. That is really good. Right? Mm -hmm. Wow. I like it. Matches perfectly with pizza. It does. And it takes us right back to New Orleans. But yeah. let's come back to Vegas and finish this pizza. We will. You just jump right into the bite, huh, babe? And jump into the bite. Mmm. Those running cups are delicious. It has a little, like, herbs in the roni cups. The cheese is nice on this pizza. Again, a thin crust. The tomato sauce doesn't overwhelm it. Yeah, there's something to be something sprinkled, like, on top mm -hmm. of the cheese, as well as just the regular plain cheese. Um, the nice, crunchy ones that you like, baby, the pepperoni. Yes. It's it, delicious. Yeah, that crispiness uh, really is delicious. This is going to be a hard choice. Yeah. It's really going to be a high choice. Let's try out this plain cheese. I know what you mean now. It's more pronounced on the cheese, but it has that, like that charcoal type of flavor where it's almost like it was, it was baked on, and it kind of transfers some of the flavor onto the pizza. This is a very good cheese pizza. Uh, it's grand in size. That's what really shocks you at when you when you first get the pizza, it's like wow, this is a huge slice of pizza right here. And the crust, yeah, I know it's gonna be the same as the pepperoni. Yeah. Nice and airy. Yeah. We have to uh, think about this one. That wraps up our pizza showdown here in the downtown area. Very good, very full. Very full. Yeah. Now, let's start by saying that these three are really the top three pizzerias here in this area. Right, so you so, can't go wrong with any one no. of them. So to choose one is really splitting hairs. Right, it's almost right? like just go to the one that you're closest to, really, because yeah. all of them are excellent. There are. Mm -hmm. But do you have a favorite number one spot picked up? I do. Me too. Mm -hmm. Our traditional three, two, one fashion. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Good, good pie. pie. <laughs> I pick good pie because I love that saltiness in the mm. cheese. The pepperoni was the right spiciness. Mm -hmm. Crispiness of that crust. And it was flavorful. Yeah. Flavorful mm -hmm. crust too. Mm -hmm. And you know, for those reasons, I pick good pie. Yeah. What about you? Overall. Uh, all the pizzas were, again, excellent. Mm -hmm. Overall, Good Pie had the perfect marriage in their pizza. Mm -hmm. The the flavorful crust, the the pizza or the um, tomato sauce. Yes, the, the sauce. The cheese, the saltiness of the cheese, mm -hmm. the spiciness of the pepperoni. All that together, all of that married so well, it was a match made in heaven yes. for Good Pie. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. I, I forgot about that pizza sauce. Yeah. The freshness of the tomato and the mm -hmm. zestiness was just perfect. Mm -hmm. But Perfectly. again, if you're in the area, it's in the Arts District. If you're in the area, go visit Good Pie. But really, any of the pizzas that we visited, we mm -hmm. always encourage you guys to go visit too. Because yeah, sometimes you'll have my taste buds and sometimes you'll have his taste buds. 
right? So go try them out. I think our and fans wants to know what came in second and third place. Okay. Which one's for you? For me, Evil Pie came in second. Really? Okay. And Pizza Rock fell to number three. Wow, wow. For me. For me, Pizza Rock was number two. Okay. And Evil Pie. So we switched. Okay. Yeah. But again, all of them were excellent. They are. Mm -hmm. They are. Mm -hmm. But if, if you're in the area, like you said, yeah. and you could only visit one, yeah. we would recommend Good Pie. Yes. If you had to, if you're going to go come down to Vegas and you're only able to visit one or go out of your way for one slice mm -hmm. of pie, I'd go to eat. I would go to uh, Good Pie. <laughs> good Pie. I'm going to say yeah. evil. I'd go to okay. Good Pie. Yeah, you yeah. can't go wrong with Evil Pie either. No. In fact, we are wrapping things up here yeah. at the new food hall here mm. at the Fremont Hotel and Casino. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. We're shooting another video just for this place. Mm -hmm. So this until our next fun. adventure, yes, we'll catch you guys in the next one.